Welcome to the world of 1,931 Seconds Frankenstein, a cinematic masterpiece that has left an indelible mark on the horror genre. As we delve into the intricacies of this classic, it's worth pondering, out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? Or perhaps, which classic Hollywood actor left the most lasting impression on you? Now, let's rewind to the early 20th century when director James Whale brought Mary Shelley's iconic novel to life on the silver screen. Released during the golden age of Hollywood, Frankenstein captivated audiences with its chilling narrative and groundbreaking special effects. Boris Karloff's portrayal of the monster with makeup by Jack Pierce became iconic and synonymous with the horror genre. As the film unfolds, the eerie atmosphere and the stark black and white cinematography set the stage for a narrative that explores the consequences of unchecked scientific ambition. A haunting score by Bernard Kahn further intensifies the suspense, contributing to the film's enduring legacy. Did you know that the film faced censorship challenges, with several scenes deemed too shocking for audiences at the time? Despite these hurdles, Frankenstein managed to secure its place in cinematic history, influencing countless horror films that followed. Now, let's turn the spotlight on you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So, out of the many roles in Frankenstein, which one was your favorite? Or which classic Hollywood actor in this movie left the most lasting impression on you? Share your thoughts and join the conversation. And there you have it, a glimpse into the captivating world of Frankenstein, a film that continues to send shivers down the spines of audiences even decades after its release. Stay tuned for more insights into the world of classic cinema. Frankenstein, directed by James Whale in 1931, stands as a cinematic landmark in the horror genre. Inspired by Mary Shelley's classic novel, the film introduces us to the ambitious Dr. Henry Frankenstein, portrayed by Colin Clive, who seeks to conquer death by creating life from deceased body parts. Boris Karloff's portrayal of the iconic monster is hauntingly unforgettable, bringing a complex and sympathetic dimension to the creature. The film's stark visual style, coupled with Whale's masterful direction, contributes to its enduring impact. The expressionistic sets and shadowy cinematography create an eerie atmosphere, enhancing the film's gothic and macabre undertones. Frankenstein not only defined the horror genre, but also established the template for countless monster movies to come. The film's success propelled both Whale and Karloff to stardom, while the character of Frankenstein's monster became an enduring symbol in popular culture. The narrative's exploration of morality, scientific hubris, and the consequences of playing God resonated then, and continues to do so today. Frankenstein remains a timeless classic, its influence echoing through decades of horror cinema, solidifying its place as a cultural touchstone. In the opening credits of the 1931 movie Frankenstein, the monster is credited simply as a mysterious introduction that adds to the intrigue of the film. It's not until the closing credits that the monster is revealed to be portrayed by Boris Karloff, a detail that underscores the transformative nature of Karloff's portrayal. Beyond the screen, the monster's iconic makeup design, crafted by Jack P. Pierce, holds a unique status. This design is under copyright to Universal Studios through the year 2026, and it is licensed by Universal Studios Licensing, Inc. The enduring copyright emphasizes the lasting impact and recognition of the distinct visual elements that contribute to the film's legacy. Interestingly, the role of the monster almost took a different turn. John Carradine, a highly trained actor, turned down the part because he felt it would reduce him to playing a mere monster. This decision sheds light on the casting choices and the perception of the role within the context of the industry during that time. These behind-the-scenes aspects provide a glimpse into the intricacies of the 1931 Frankenstein production, showcasing the deliberate decisions and considerations that contributed to the film's success. The enigmatic credit, the copyright of the makeup design, and the casting decisions all play a role in shaping the iconic status of this classic horror film. In the making of the 1931 movie Frankenstein, the casting of the monster proved to be the most challenging aspect for director James Whale. Interestingly, Whale's discovery of Boris Karloff for the role was serendipitous. While at the Universal Commissary, Whale noticed Karloff 
and passed him a note offering a screen test. Harloff, despite later joking about being offended by being seen as an ugly character, eagerly accepted the opportunity. It's worth noting that on the day Whale spotted him, Karloff was wearing his most elegant suit and thought he looked rather handsome. This casting decision played a pivotal role in shaping the film's success. Karloff's portrayal of the monster became iconic, contributing to the enduring legacy of the 1931 Frankenstein. The film, selected by James Whale from a list of options presented by Carl Lemel Jr., marked a departure for Whale for more pictures, establishing him as a prominent figure in the horror genre. Additionally, an intriguing detail adds a layer of complexity to the film. Edward Van Sloan, who played Dr. Waldman, also made an uncredited appearance as himself in the film's prologue, issuing a warning to the audiences about what they were about to witness. This behind-the-scenes aspect provides insight into the deliberate decisions made during the production, adding to the film's enigmatic allure. In summary, the fortuitous casting of Boris Karloff, James Whale's deliberate choice to direct Frankenstein, and the dual role of Edward Van Sloan contribute to the intricate layers that make the 1931 Frankenstein a classic in the horror genre. In 1991, Frankenstein secured its place in cinematic history when it was added to the National Film Registry by the United States Library of Congress. This recognition highlighted the enduring significance of the 1931 movie and its impact on American culture. Directed by James Whale, the film's inclusion in the prestigious registry solidifies its status as a timeless classic, resonating with audiences across generations. The film's journey into the National Film Registry is a testament to its cultural and artistic importance. The story of Dr. Henry Frankenstein and his creation, portrayed by Boris Karloff, continues to captivate audiences with its exploration of morality, scientific ambition, and the consequences of playing God. The stark visual style, expressionistic sets, and iconic makeup design crafted by Jack P. Pierce contribute to the film's lasting legacy. Beyond its inclusion in the National Film Registry, Frankenstein's production reveals intriguing behind-the-scenes details. Actor Edward Van Sloan, who played Dr. Waldman, shared a unique connection with the film's early stages. He appeared in a now-lost test reel with Bella Lugosi as the monster, providing a glimpse into the initial makeup concept resembling the golem. This lost reel adds a layer of historical mystery to the film's production, showcasing the evolution of its iconic visuals. Additionally, an anecdote from the filming process sheds light on the human side of the horror. During the scene where the monster attacks Elizabeth, Me Clark expressed genuine concern about facing Boris Karloff in full makeup. In a touching gesture, Karloff reassured her by subtly wiggling his pinky finger out of sight, creating a connection between the actors and emphasizing the camaraderie behind the terrifying facade. In conclusion, the 1991 inclusion of Frankenstein and the National Film Registry underscores its enduring impact. While behind-the-scenes details provide insights into the film's creation and the human connections that shaped its iconic moments. As we bid adieu to the riveting tale of Frankenstein, let the echoes of its thunderous creation linger in the recesses of your mind. Like bolts of lightning dancing across a stormy sky, Mary Shelley's 1931 masterpiece has left an indelible mark on the canvas of cinematic history. As you navigate the labyrinthine corridors of Dr. Frankenstein's laboratory, ponder the complexities of creation and the profound questions that reverberate through time. What does it mean to play God? Can the stitched fragments of life ever truly be whole? The monster's haunting gaze reflects not only the fear of the unknown, but the very essence of our humanity. Now, I invite you to peel back the layers of your own experiences. What memories does Frankenstein invoke for you? Was it the first flickering image on a black and white screen, the spine-tingling music that raised the hairs on your neck, or perhaps a late-night conversation dissecting the philosophical underpinnings of Shelley's narrative? Share your musings, your reflections, your personal tapestry woven with the threads of Frankenstein. Engage with fellow travelers on this cinematic journey, for the beauty of a story lies not just in its creation, but in the myriad ways it intertwines with our lives. Thank you for embarking on this exploration of the cinematic realm with Frankenstein. Your thoughts add depth to the narrative, making it a living, breathing entity that transcends the confines of the screen. Until our next shared adventure in the realms of imagination, 
Thank you for your time and interest. Embrace the echoes of Frankenstein, and may they continue to resonate within you.